A Moment of Meditation Joy of Zion Church Let's confess together I am a spirit I have a soul I live in a body I am a new creation God loves me God blesses me God makes me righteous God gives me peace that the world cannot give I am grateful I am thankful I am delighted I am happy I am joyful I am okay I am doing good In Christ I am a person with overwhelming confidence to win in any situation and circumstance I am a victor not a victim In Christ I am a person who has the ability to control my inner climate regardless of external circumstances I am a spirit having the spirit. In Christ, I am a person who has the ability to maintain a positive attitude in a negative situation. I am blessed to be a blessing. I will never, never, never be the same again. Repair worry. Therefore, I say unto you, take no thought for your life, what you shall eat or what you shall drink, nor yet for your body, What you shall put on is not the life more than meat and the body than raiment. Matthew chapter 6 verse 25. God doesn't want you worried over anything. When you worry or tax your mind, don't think it's going to go away on its own. No, worry is spiritual. That's why you have to repair it with your shield of faith. Above all, taking the shield of faith wherewith it shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 16 You need to protect and defend yourself against worry and then go on the offensive with the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God in your mouth concerning your situation. That's one you use to repair worry, the rhema of God in your mouth. What does God's word say? It says, do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving present to your request to God. And the peace of God which transcends all understanding will guard your hearts and your mind in Christ Jesus. Philippians chapter 4 verses 6 to 7 NIV. Don't sit there worrying and whining. Declare what you want and give thanks to God because it's done. Hallelujah. Having done that, it says, The peace of God that surpasses understanding will garrison your heart and mind in Christ Jesus. So, here you are. Circumstances don't look right. Everything looks like there's trouble. Yet, you are at peace. Others can understand how you can be absolutely unflustered in the midst of so much trouble. The reason is simple. You are acting on the word. You've cast all your cares upon him. 1 Peter chapter 5 verse 7 That's how to live a worry-free life. Prayer Dear Father, I have confidence in all that you've done for me and made available to me in Christ Jesus. I rejoice always because you've been given me an extraordinary life of glory and victory. Free from struggles, worries, and the troubles that weigh men down. Your peace which passes all understanding mentors my heart and mind even now. In just name, Amen. I hope so much Jesus be inside you and covers you today. Have a glorious day or have a glorious night. See you tomorrow.